Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ravi and I am going to explain you today interview topic 22 that is lab toxicity grading and adverse event toxicity grading. In the most of the interviewers, the interviewer may ask you what is this lab toxicity grading and adverse event toxicity grading? How will you derive in the ADAM level? I will explain you this in today's session. Okay. If you see the National Cancer Institute Common Terminology Criteria NCICTC version 4 of adverse events is a descriptive terminology which can be utilized for adverse event reporting including abnormal laboratory findings. For example, the based on the adverse event senior, uh, severity, there will be a CTCAE common terminology criteria. They will give or they will assign some gradings to the particular adverse events for all the across all the therapeutic areas and all the you know all studies the grading refers to the severity of the a the ctc a display one to five gradings with unique clinical description of severity for a based on the general guidelines if you see here this was the crf and we are annotated this variable it's related to our studies and this is a toxicity grade and the gradings are like this one two three four five what is this one two three four five nothing but one is mild second is moderate third one is a severe and fourth one is life-threatening or disabling a and fifth one is death related to a these are the five ctc grades which are defined by the ctc related to a based on the a severity the investigator or the doctors i will assign the grading for the particular <coughs> AE. Okay, in case of the laboratory, laboratory toxicity grade is are based on the what is the value which we are getting. For example, while doing the laboratory test, we are getting value, the raw value L B O R R E S. We'll convert that into numeric lab STRNA and the standard format. So while checking that value, we will assign the grades as per the grading system ctca grading system for example here if you see grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 this was related to some calcium related parameter hyperkalemia hypokalemia here uln nothing but upper limit of normal LLN is lower limit of normal. What is this ULN and LLN? For example, if you take in the parameter of the calcium, uh, some parameters are, some ranges are fixed. This was the upper range, this was the lower range. Within this range, the value will found, then will call it as normal. Otherwise, it will go abnormal. Which were in abnormal, we can give our grading system as per this CTCA. If you see here, the coding also here if it is between the uh, lab high range and low range will give lab toxic grade a zero which means there is no toxicity grade for example it is a greater than eight here you can see here it is a greater than eight and it is a less than lab st n r l means lower range less than if it is a lower range less than will give toxicity grade one and it is a greater than high here you can see it is a greater than high and here and less than 11.5 here less than 11.5 will give it as 1 means in this way while seeing the guidelines we can follow which by based on the lab str and, and means nothing but this is a numeric version of the raw value which were after co converting our unit conversation we'll get the standard value once we get the value while looking this value we can compare with the our available document from the ctca and as in the lab tax city grade if it is 11.5 to 12.5 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 in this scenario we can assign the grading system in the laboratory and first we need to round the value then convert the unit conversation and later we can compare with the standard value otherwise it will give the wrong 
lab task it created for example if you see here at point four one it will give two but after rounding it will give the lab tax it created one so once we round up the actual value this was actual value this was the high range value low range high range values so once we convert the value to rounding of unique to all the parameters then we can compare with the high and low value then we derive the lab tax degree so thanks for watching this video if you like this video like share and comment if you want more interesting clinical search interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching this video for more interesting SaaS interview topics please subscribe my channel thank you